friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Wednesday, it's another what I eat in a day on WW. I have such great meals and a really delicious dinner recipe for you, as well as lots of the dogs. We just have a really fun packed day. So if you're excited for another what I eat in a day, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below where I will be linking everything I'm sharing with you in today's video as well as all of my other favorite things. Nutrition coaching, I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend taking advantage of that just so you know where you should fall every day to be most successful. If you want to chat with me directly, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Also in the description box, you will find my Facebook group. We'd love to have you head on over and join that community as well. It's a really fun place to be and I'm on there all the time. So that's the most up-to-date things that are going on is generally posted over on my Facebook group. So come on over and join us. So let's jump into a what I eat in a day on WW. small kiwis and then I have a slice of avocado toast one slice of the Trader Joe's sourdough bread is two points my egg is zero everything but the bagel is zero and three points worth of avocado and of course I'm starting on my first cup of water I just finished my coffee so this is going to be my five smart point breakfast I'm at Jazzercise, so excited to get a workout in today. I had a coaching call this morning and then I headed out the door to Jazzercise. After Jazzercise, I think we're gonna go get a coffee over at Starbucks. Why not have another coffee today? And then I have a video to upload. We're gonna go home, have some lunch, and then I have a Zoom call this afternoon, so it's a busy day. But I am a little bit hungry before my workout. It's been a two and a half hours since I ate breakfast. So I wanna share with you guys a new, really yummy snack that I heard about from Dish with D here on YouTube. I'll make sure that I link D's channel down below. These are from a company called Charlie and the Peanut Butter Factory. They are little peanut butter bites. They have small ones and full-size bites. I'm going to show you guys all the different sizes. We'll go over the points and the calories, but I wanted to share with you what I brought with me as a little snack before Jazzercise. So these are the minis. I would say that the size of them on the bottom is about the size of a quarter and the top is bigger than a quarter. The bigger ones are in the larger condiment containers, but I just popped this right out of my freezer. This is the birthday cake flavor. It even 
even has sprinkles in there. You guys, these are great little snacks. This is one point and 40 calories. It's a good amount of healthy fats, protein. It's perfect for a pre or post workout, or if you just want a little something as a snack that will actually keep you full and satisfied. So I'm going to pop this out and this is going to be my pre workout snack. So here is what it looks like. And then I just pop it right out of here into my mouth. Mine is still a little bit frozen. I love them frozen. You can actually have them thawed and eat them with a spoon, or you can pop these into a smoothie or a protein shake, which I think is genius for that little bit of a nut butter, healthy fats, and added protein. Once I got my order and realized how much I really love these, I reached out to them, and they so kindly gave me a link for you guys to get 25% off your first order. You also get free shipping at $35. So Go check them out. Definitely order these. Like I said, they are a great snack. I can't wait to pop these in a smoothie. I think that is such an excellent idea. They're great if you want a little sweet treat, especially at night after dinner. You can't beat one point or 40 calories. And the fact that you're getting in so much healthy fat from the peanut butter or almond butter. One of the full size ones that I'm loving is the cookie topper. In the middle is an actual cookie. It is so good. Now these are the bigger ones, four to five points, 170 calories, but this is a decadent sweet treat with healthy fat and protein. So I am loving these. Definitely check them out. They will be linked down below for you. Pre-workout time. This is the My Adventure to Fit in the pineapple banana. I will link My Adventure to Fit down below for you guys as well with the discount. This is my go-to pre-workout. Now I used to dry scoop it, but I will say that I notice more results, more tingly, more energy if I don't dry scoop it. And I actually mix it with water. Let me know what you guys think. Do you find that you get that little bit extra tingling energy if you mix it versus dry scoop it? So I'm gonna drink this. We're heading in to work out here in about 15 minutes. One hour later. Workout is done. It was amazing as always. I am going to go get a coffee. That's going to be my morning snack and I'll be having a little bit later lunch because I do have to run over and upload a video really quick. So let's go get an after workout coffee treat. Can I get a grande brown sugar cinnamon oat milk espresso with light ice? You got it. Is it okay if I do extra oat milk in exchange for the sure. light ice? Sure, sure. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, is that everything? Yep, that's everything. Perfect. See you up here. Thank you. So here is my lunch. It's about noon. I just got home from Jazzercise and uploading my video. So I'm having some green beans. These are left over from dinner. I just added some salt and pepper. This is a chicken patty. You'll see these in a future video, but this is what is left over from that recipe. And I added a little bit of this French's honey mustard to the top and then some watermelon and water. So the only thing that is points for my lunch is the chicken patty for four points. Everything else is zero and I didn't use enough of the honey mustard to count for a point. Poor Diesel, he's been limping for a couple weeks. He's going to the vet. By the time you see this video, he will have been to the vet. So I'll give you guys an update here on the screen, but I'm wondering if it's something to do with his leg or his hip or his joint. So poor buddy, too, too bad, but you're so handsome, buddy. Bubba, I love you, bud. And this is currently happening. The usual with these two. Get him, Lola. Get him, Lola. Get your brother. Get him. This is the everyday occurrence several times a day. How come you're so cute? Hey, Palmer. Oh, no, uh, uh leave him alone. You know how he feels about you. Get him, Lola. Get him, Lola. Hi, buddy. Hi, handsome boy. Can't believe you're nine. Nine and a half. Right there. For a quick afternoon snack, I'm going to have one of my Chobani yogurts that I picked up at Costco. I really like these. They are thick and creamy, really delicious. This is the Gill Cherry. It's a very tart but sweet cherry. It's really hard to explain, but it's really, really good. So if you can get your hands on these less sugar ones, they're currently on coupon at Costco. It is four points, so that's my afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, I am making a mushroom cheeseburger pasta. The original recipe does not call for pasta, but I'm doing some tweaks and making it into a pasta dish. I'm also modifying some of the other ingredients. So let me show you what's in tonight's 
dinner. First, you're going to need pasta, of course. I am using, as always, the Fiber Gourmet. This is the light rotini. If you're new to my channel or haven't heard of Fiber Gourmet, get your hands on this pasta. It's incredible. The texture, the taste, it's so good. And it's only 100 calories for two ounces dry. Always measure your pasta dry versus 210 calories of regular pasta. It's only two points for two ounces, where a normal pasta is five to six points. So lots of point saving, calorie saving. What I also love is it has 25 grams of fiber, which is your daily intake in pasta, versus two grams of traditional pasta, 17 net carbs versus 41, and it also has seven grams of protein. I order this off of Nutrition. I'll link that down below. They have the biggest selection and the best price. So highly recommend ordering from there. So tonight is Rotini. You'll also need some minced garlic, two big eight ounce packs of mushrooms or 16 ounces total, green onions, a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef. I am substituting these fresh mozzarella cheese balls that I picked up at Walmart a while ago in place of the Swiss cheese because I'm out of Swiss cheese. It won't change the points or anything. I'm just changing up that one cheese. I'm doing feta, you can also do goat cheese and some salt. I have a good sized pot here of salted water for the pasta and in a large skillet, you'll want a pretty big skillet because you're adding in the mushrooms and everything with your ground beef. We're going to start browning up our pound of ground beef. Pasta is cooking right along. We have browned the ground beef. We're now going to add just a little bit of salt, both packages of mushrooms. Also make sure that you are draining your ground beef if you end up having any grease. I didn't have any left since this is such a lean cut of ground beef. And a big heaping scoop of minced garlic. Now we're just going to let these mushrooms soften with the ground beef, salt, and garlic. I went ahead and added in the chopped up green onions or scallions. Our mushrooms are just about softened. I did also pop in a little bit of ground pepper. This is looking so delicious. I'm going to add in one cup of the feta cheese. Again, you can use goat cheese and half of the tub of the mozzarella balls. Those should just melt down really nicely. We're going to stir, stir this while it melts down before we add in our pasta. Yum! Now I'm adding in my pack of cooked fiber gourmet pasta. Stir that up to coat and allow the cheese to melt completely through. So here's the dinner. This looks so good. That entire skillet of pasta makes only four servings, so it is a lot. You could lower the points on this if you went with a reduced fat or fat-free feta and different cheese than I did with the mozzarella. You could use the Jarlsberg light cheese. Just recalculate the points, you'll probably save a few, but I have a ton of points left today, so I am going to enjoy my full-fat cheese in my pasta. It makes four servings. It is nine points per serving on all three plants. Now, if you're on purple, you could substitute a different pasta, and like I said you could make those low fat modifications to lower the points but I am going to indulge in this delicious nine point dinner. 5 27 p.m and my gallon of water is done. I'm going to clean up dinner and then we'll be back for some dessert. Come every time I see you you have something in your mouth. Tell them say earlier I found a millipede and I tried to eat it but my dad caught me. So they've played for 10 minutes now they're all pooped. Are you pooped? Yeah, you guys are all pooped. Oh, see? Oh, yeah. Hello, Lola. Oh, oh, Lola, you shouldn't roll over. He thinks you want to play. Got your stick? Get your stick, buddy. Yeah, good boy, bud. Hi. Hi, dirt dog. Who had a bath who's already all dirty? That's you. Dessert tonight is a built bar, and I don't know if you see this flavor. This is the birthday cake with sprinkles. This is a brand new white chocolate covered built bar. This is so good. I'll show you guys what the actual bar looks like. This is out right now. It started yesterday, Tuesday, and it goes through the following Tuesday. I will put all of the information here on the screen for you, but this is a very limited release bar. When it sells out, it sells out, and then it is gone for good. So if you're interested, the link in the description box will give you 10% off and free shipping. Go ahead and save that link because you can use it every time you order. So let's break into this and I'll show you this bar. It is delish. So here is what the bar looks like. Sprinkles and all. 
Like I said, it is so good. It is very birthday cake-y. And I really love the white chocolate belt bar. So I'm super excited for this. So make sure you order before it's gone. joining me on another what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. All of my meals, that amazing, amazing dinner recipe. And I will make sure everything I talked about in today's video is linked down below in that description box, along with links and discounts to all of my favorite things, my Facebook group and nutrition coaching. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the little bell next to it. So you never miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Wednesday. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.